Welcome back, Storytimers. Today's read aloud is The Bird with a Broken Wing by Robert Still. There once was a bird with a broken wing who could not fly and would not sing. She sulked and cried as she could not do anything she wanted to. She could not soar and could not glide and felt intensely sad inside. She had not flown for almost a year. The pain had taken all her cheer. No, said her father. I have heard that there is a wise and powerful bird. He can get you on the mend and bring your suffering to an end. The wise bird's house was far away. They'd have to fly all night and day. For a little fledgling, the trek was long, but she had her father to ride upon. So the little bird with a broken wing, who could not fly and would not sing, was perched at rest on her father's back. They left the nest to set on track. So off they flew over grass and trees, above the oceans and mountain scenes, through wind and rain and frost and fog, in sleet and snow and dust and smog. Together they soared past forests and moors above wastelands and deserts and delicate shores. And soon they could see what they set out to find, the wise bird's dwellings, the master mind. So the little bird with a broken wing, who could not fly and would not sing, had come a long, long way to get intensive treatment from the vet. Good day, boomed a voice from inside the cave. It's time for you to be quite brave. Your father will be going home, and you'll be here with me alone. There is a lot of work to do. The recovery will be up to you. Make sure you follow my advice. It will be hard, but that's the price. Each day, you will be sure to eat the food I tell you. Do not cheat. I'll give you tips on how to move your wing to get it to improve. You must eat porridge for meal one, then tasty worms inside a bun, and snack on nuts and berries too, and finish the day with the beetle stew. The wise old bird continued to explain what else she had to do. For week one you need to start to spread your wings quite far apart. On week two you'll need to try to flop your wings in prep to fly. And finally... When you make week three, you'll jump and glide from tree to tree. So, the little bird with a broken wing, who could not fly and would not sing, worked hard to do what she was told to persevere and be brave and bold. Week one was hard for the little bird. To stretch her wings did really hurt. She knew she had to carry on to get her poor wing to be strong. On week two, she seemed to be able to move her wings pain-free. And when the week was nearly through, she realised what she had to do. The third week came and finally, she perched herself upon a tree. She glanced on down from the great height and spread her wings and leapt for flight. A voice came up from down below. You've done so well, it's time to go. Fly straight home to your family, said the wise old bird with joy and glee. Thanks so much, the little bird said. She waved goodbye and off she sped. So then she flew over deserts and shores and wastelands and forests and desolate moors. In sleet and snow and dust and smog, through wind and rain and frost and fog, she soared above oceans and mountain scenes and over the forests and grasslands green. She swooped on down towards her nest to meet her father who expressed the utmost joy and hugged her flight. You're back, he said with such delight. Well done, good work, I am so proud you believed in yourself, he exclaimed aloud. You showed great courage and bravery too and did everything you had to do. So the little bird and her father flew up to the sky and into the blue. They swooped and soared and had much fun. The wing was mended and the work was done. She once was a bird with a broken wing. But now she flies and loves to sing. 
Thank you for listening and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.